Before we begin, we would like to say that, in our opinion, what follows is not suitable for children, or for those of you who are of a Marxist or misandrist disposition. Oh no! Oh, for God's sake! Piss off! They are socially conscious citizens. They are sheep. <coughs> yes, very apt description. Write history? Not one line! People spend all their time making nice things and other people come along and break them. It's the end. You're the cause of this disaster! <laughs> I don't like it. No. 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 Hello, Grumpies. Greetings from the Shadowman Dimension. Have you noticed? The world is full of fuckwits. They're everywhere, and not just in politics and the media, they're in fandom too. With fuckwits like Marxist Ming Mong, Mr. Turdis, Spazzies, the John Merrick of fandom, and the confused ego poser. Fuckwit fan sheep, the lot of them. They're the one thing on YouTube that's more annoying than a Grammarly advert. But the biggest fuckwits in fandom are those woke wankers at Giz Finish for the love of workery. Nick, Sherlock Holmes, Vanity Project Briggs and the rest of them are cowardly scumbags who, if you remember, cancelled James Dreyfus for having the wrong opinions about J.K. Rowling. Don't hold your breath for her writing a Doctor Who audio adventure. Though, given the current standard of their scripts, they could do with someone like her. Jizz Finish don't love stories, they love virtue signalling. And the latest example of how far they've fallen creatively can be heard in their 8th of March releases, a vagina fest of gynaeolatry and misery. Today is the 8th of March, International Worship the Vagina Day and sees the release of the third of Jizz Finish's fantastic 8th of March pro-vagina propaganda box set bollocks. In addition, they've put out some vagina convo videos on their YouTube channel, featuring Lisa Bowerman, who's been dining out on appearing in one shit Fester McCoy story for the past 30 years, and who was, I didn't know, shagging David Warner, which explains why he got cast in so much of Jizz Finish's output. Bowerman is the queen bee of Jizz Finish, and the poor dear laments in the video the pressures of motherhood on lady actors and losing your looks. Oh, what a shame. Better get used to that one, love. The other video has two non-entities nobody's ever heard of lamenting the forgotten women of history whose stories need to be told, not realising that the reason they're forgotten isn't the implied misogyny, it's that nobody's interested in what they did because it wasn't very memorable. A bit like their scripts. And of course, female solidarity is so much more important than characters in conflict. Yeah, loads of riveting drama to be got out of that one. The trouble with modern fuckwit feminists is that they don't really want equality. They want special treatment. They hide from the inconvenient truth that what women really want is to control masculine aggression, not be controlled by it. That's why Beauty and the Beast is the basis of all female fantasy. Who do you think was buying all those copies of Fifty Shades of Grey? It wasn't the blokes. Jizz Finish are, of course, hypocrites, paying lip service to the Queen Bee Bowerman and her drones by avoiding the problematic issue of trans women with a penis and bio women with a vagina. They threw James Dreyfus under Iris Wild Tom's bus over it, but I don't see any of their precious trans women in either video. Instead, both feature aging bio women. If being pro trans is what Jizz Finish are so precious about, if it was so important to them that they got rid of James Dreyfus over it, where are the trannies now? If trans women and bio women are both women, 
and they're not. Why aren't there any trans women on display for International Women's Day? I think the answer is pretty obvious. Nick, Sherlock Holmes, Vanity Project Briggs, Lisa, Queen Bee, Bowerman, and every actor who continues to work for them, which includes all the Doctors, with the possible exception of Tom Baker, because he's pushing 90, the only person Tom Baker's aware of is Tom Baker. Everyone who works for Jizz Finish since James Dreyfus got cancelled is a contemptible socialist scumbag. To paraphrase Clara Oswald, the Jizz Finish universe is full of estrogen. Trust me, it's unbearable. Until the next time, resist the Marxists, don't be a sheep, and stay grumpy. If you're a lefty and have been affected by anything in this video, FUCK OFF!